On the line with us is a special guest. He covers the Lakers for the Los Angeles Times. He is Broderick Turner. Broderick, thank you so much for coming on. My pleasure. Thanks for having me on, man. I appreciate this myself, you know. Uh, primarily what I do is covering the team that's just a day-to-day basis was what I do with my coworker, Mike Bresahan. And our primary assignment is just to generate copy and news and information and to get that out to the Laker world because they have so many fans that are out there from around the world to tell you the truth. I got an email last week from a fan in the Netherlands of all places. And my response was, hey, do you live in Amsterdam? And the guy goes, well, I live nearby. <laughs> and so that was shocking to me that the Lakers, I know they have fans worldwide, but it still was a pretty much of a shock to get an email from someone who actually who has read the stuff on the LA Times. And uh, so that, that feel, makes you feel kind of neat that people are reading your stuff because they are following you know, the premier team in basketball and one of the top teams in sports. Once again, we have Broderick Turner from the Los Angeles Times. Mr. Turner, back on January 19th, following the Lakers' 98-92 victory over the Orlando Magic, you wrote about the bench providing a spark with more than just numbers but with attitude. With Shannon Brown getting into the dunk contest, Jordan Farmar playing a bit better, Lamar Odom showing signs of life, is the bench finally starting to develop a flow and a swagger? You know, they, they, I think the bench is, and Shannon, one thing I'll say about Shannon Brown, he, he has been a godsend for the Lakers. When they made that trade, you know, they got Shannon, they got Adam Morrison. I mean, no one had known much about Shannon because he didn't play very much. But he worked really hard last year during practice. He stayed late. He wanted to learn. He was a willing learner. So he made progress to the point now he worked that over the summer he is someone that they can depend on if the bench can be productive and can keep that same confidence and that swagger about themselves. They give the Lakers a chance to have a very successful road trip. Last season, remember, it was the six-game road trip late in January that catapulted them to the NBA Finals run. Does this team, Broderick, does this team need that trip as much as that team last season who got roughed up by the Celtics the season before and they had something to prove? Do they need to go undefeated or can they go five and three, four and four, and this be a successful trip? Yeah, I I think, you know, they can. The numbers you gave were really good. Going four and four on a road trip is not bad because you want to go at least 500. I think if they go five and three, that is a very successful road trip. If they do any better than that at six and two or better, that's phenomenal. They're the defending champs. We want to prove to them and their fans and our fans and other NBA fans that we are, at least on this one night, as good as they are. So we want to beat them. So those are the tough games you have to worry about, it's, you know, especially that last one. I mean, you're tired. You want to go home. You want to see your wife. You want to see your kids, your girlfriends. You just want to go home to your own bed. But if you're going to be champions again, those are the games you have to give your best effort. Are you going to get a chance to go holler at President Obama? Man, I'm hoping so. I've got to fill out a few more forms they want to take care of, man. Otherwise, they may toss me out of my ear. You know? <laughs> I hope to get there. Broderick Turner covers the Lakers for the Los Angeles Times. Email him at broderick.turner at latimes.com. Follow him at twitter.com slash ba underscore turner. Broderick Turner, thank you once again for coming on LWO Radio. Thank you.